you can reduce your cloud spend based upon how you run in someone's cloud. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, and this is the approach that I've taken, meaning that you have acquired sufficient knowledge so you don't have to run RDS so that you can run on just a bare metal EC2 instance with your database server. Right. And you you run your own Nginx configured using tools. You don't use um, some of their services for everything. You can use Nginx as a load balancer. You don't use their load balancer. So if you use less of their services, you can run much more cheaply. Mm-hmm. Because you're I, just using them as file storage on S3 because that stuff is cheaper than dirt. <laughs> and, yeah. and just buy some servers from them. And that's pretty much what I'm... There are a few services that I do use. Like, for example, I love their Route 53 weighted routing because that's how I'm able to have multiple front-end servers. Basically, mm -hmm. go to an IP address and it can hit any one of my front-end servers from my application. That's pretty awesome. But what I also do is I say, okay, if this goes down, what's my alternative? In other mm -hmm. words, I always have a backup plan. Yeah. And well, is it, what was it? Is it Cloudflare? Is that the big? Or the... what? Oh, shoot. No, the company that is it. I mean, Cloudflare I is a remember. thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Cloudflare. So they have the exact same thing. So if I don't like AWS, I want to move a out of AWS, AWS, I could move elsewhere to another cloud potentially or whatever, but use Cloudflare to do that same service. Right. Well, and I think that's so the approach. That's to a take. way to run expen ex inex That's a way to run inexpensively, because what ha how they have things structured is they get you in with a little taste very cheaply. Oh, buy this RDS, and then if you look at the instance sizes as they increase, the costs increase exponentially. Right. So as you grow, that's where they start milking the cow, as it were. Yeah. Well, and, and I think rather cow. than rather than, yeah. I think rather than just leaving the cloud, in most cases, it's more beneficial to find ways to run less expensively on the cloud. Bring efficiencies into what you're doing. You know, get rid of things you're not using. We we just went through that at work. There was a lot of old pods and stuff that we had running that, that we we realized we don't really need to be running these things anymore. Let's just get rid of them and, and book the costs, you know. There's no reason to be running this stuff. So, you know, auditing your system to find out if you're just wasting money in places is not terribly difficult. You know, that's a that's an inexpensive way to save money. Um, figuring out, like you said, better ways to um, get cheaper stuff. If I can do this part of it myself, fine, I'll, I'll get the less expensive option and do this part myself. But I don't have to leave the cloud completely to save money there. And I think that's going to be a, a much, much more efficient way to approach it for the majority of companies. And I'd say probably for the majority of small companies, once you hit medium companies, like, or getting at like base camp Hayes level of activity, then I think it's, begs consideration but like there's no way i could like i think i would have to my, my level of activity of my app would have to go up a hundred fold before it makes sense for me to even think about it think about co-location and you know all that sort of stuff right so then you got to you got to front front money to hire a team of people to deal with that, right? Well, I mean, you you do want to have some people on staff, but that can always be purchased as a service through other companies. So that's 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 possible. Yeah, but so can but cloud you do hosting. want a couple of people at least a couple, <laughs> what? So can cloud hosting. So 
purchase sure, a service sure. through but, other but companies. If, yeah. if the if AWS or Google or Microsoft have such a dominant role that they can put extra premiums on something, then maybe there are cheaper alternatives out there. Yeah. To con to consider. So I I, th I think it's interesting perspective and thought experiment when he says leaving the cloud it's a thought experiment mm -hmm. yeah for vast majority of small companies i don't think it makes sense but well, once you achieve a vast medium, majority of large companies i don't think it would make sense it depends it wouldn't make on sense how much for profit us. It, it depends on how much profit aws is milking I mean, yeah, to a point, but... Because they're making profit off of you, so at, at some point, you could potentially save some money. Uh, well, yes, potentially. But I can tell you from, like, you know, the, the company I work at is really big. It's a global company. So, you know, we're at a size where we would be considered a large um, user of AWS. I mean, it's it's not small potatoes what we spend on AWS every month. And it, it, would, it would absolutely not make sense for us to think about completely leaving the cloud. Now, going through and tightening up how we're using the cloud, yes, and, and we did that and we continue to do that but leaving the cloud would just be a massive overhaul for us so i don't know that even for big companies while it may make sense on paper from just a purely balance sheet perspective i think the costs are just going to be too high for any long term gains to be realized well, I mean, I I think I'll I'll disagree with that. But <laughs> just going from the perspective of AWS provides you services and generates a profit. So unless they so therefore you're allowing that profit to be extracted from you could hire similar types of people, do the similar similar types of processes and do it yourself. Not that you sh should do that. But I think it's also a consideration, what does a company want to be focused in? Like, you don't generate your own power. You choose to pay for that power right. from another company because you're like, I'm not going to specialize in power generation. So you have to make the decision, Is this? do we want this to be a core competency, knowing how to run, run our own stuff? Or are we okay outsourcing that and allowing another company to extract a profit from it? But as a benefit, we don't have to focus on it. Right. So I think and, that's well, I mean, experiment. that's that's kind of the whole service industry in a nutshell. Is but and that's one of the other things I was going to bring up is the opportunity costs for that are extremely high. So you have to be willing to give up the the engineering capacity of moving your product forward to come off of the cloud. To drop the cloud, so you've got to you've got to trade something off there, um, and it's going to be some type of engineering capacity. So, do I use that in engineering capacity to keep moving my product forward faster, or do I pull back on that so that I can make this jump off the cloud? Because somebody's going to have to do it. And I just think that in most cases, that opportunity cost is just just too high, unless that unless so much of your expense is tied up in cloud hosting um, that you, you just have no other way to reduce costs or increase your sales enough to offset the rate at which that increases. So, yeah. I mean, the other thing to keep in mind is that one thing that DH said, DHH said in one of his posts is that AWS's profit margin is almost 30%. So that's the kind of milking that's being done for what they're charging you. They get a 30% profit, which is quite substantial. 
So yeah. even if it's not leaving the cloud, if people are concerned about their cloud budgets and you are, I would say, a medium or a large company, then maybe you could start exploring. I think absolutely agree with you. The first place to check is, hey, can we optimize how we're using it more efficiently? That's the first thing to check. Yeah. Or two, can we do things ourselves and not rely so much on their services, if that makes sense, you know, from a cost perspective, mm -hmm. like get some in-house knowledge on how to run databases as opposed to using RDS or run some of your own things to optimize costs. But apart from that, you could also say, hey, let's try this project off of it to see how it goes. Right. If you like this clip and want to watch another one, you can click right here. Or if you want to watch the full video, you can click here.